What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. And we're back to another review in my 100 movies bucket list poster. And, and this is a well-timed review dropping today on Groundhog Day or Super Bowl Sunday, whatever you want to celebrate. I'm not a big sports guy, so I guess we're celebrating Groundhog Day. And today's review is a movie that sums up that holiday and is kind of a celebration of it and a meditation on the human life, surprisingly. We're talking about the 1993 comedy classic, Groundhog Day. So Groundhog Day was released in 1993. It was directed by Harold Ramis. You may know him as Egon in Ghostbusters, also starring Bill Murray. And Harold Ramis was also a movie director. Groundhog Day is one of his best known films. He also directed National Lampoon's Vacation and Caddyshack, just to name a few. So he's got quite a few successful comedy films that he directed in his lifetime. And Groundhog Day for many is considered to be his best film. So in Groundhog Day, a narcissistic TV weatherman along with his attractive but distant producer and mawkish cameraman is sent to report on Groundhog Day in the small town of Puxatawney where he finds himself repeating the same day over and over. And the movie stars Bill Murray, Andy McDowell, Chris Elliott, Stephen Topflowski, I'm sorry if I pronounced your last name wrong, and Brian Doyle Murray. This is an interesting little opinion I actually had originally for this film. I first saw Groundhog Day a few years ago, expecting it to be one of the funniest movies of all time because I love Bill Murray, I love Ghostbusters, I do enjoy his comedic chops. But when I first saw Groundhog Day, I was surprisingly really disappointed with the film. It had some moments I highly enjoyed. I loved the setup, but the, I didn't really care for the rom-com angle. It kind of went, and I just kind of lost interest in the film. But then again, this I had expectations for Groundhog Day that weren't really met, and so I just saw it as kind of a bland comedy when I first saw the movie. Well, I revisited Groundhog Day today, and I see why people love the movie now. Yeah, I, I think age is a factor in really accepting the genius that Groundhog Day has to offer. I don't know if this was the first movie that did this or not, but this was one of the first movies that did the whole trope of somebody falling into a time loop and repeating the same day over and over again. I've seen that done several other times, like uh, it was in a Donald Duck cartoon and Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas with Huey, Dewey, and Louie, but that one was Christmas themed. And then another good example is Edge of the Morrow did a similar trope as well. But Groundhog Day has a lot of wisdom to it, like very surprising sharp wisdom to it that makes me appreciate this film all the more. And yeah, while this isn't the funniest movie I've ever seen or anything, there's just enough in there to get you excited about the premise. Like, there's quite a few moments that did have me laughing for. I mean, you got Bill Murray leading this film, so you know Bill Murray's gonna get a chuckle out of you. But the heart of this movie, I would say, is the character building. Bill Murray's character is very selfish, snarky, Reporter, weatherman, very cynical, very selfish, has no heart in him. And then the whole being in the time loop actually changes his character around. And you get to see how one extended time loop does to somebody. And actually for the greater good, there's actually a, there's a universal wisdom to this movie. Especially dealing with time. Because time is something none of us can control. Nobody can control time. You make choices each and every day. Some choices actually help you and some bring consequences. And Groundhog Day actually shows that in a very haunting in some places and beautiful in others. 
And it's something that, you know, the more I age and the more, I guess, I mature in life, I think this is something I think that's a little more relatable. And that's something I probably didn't get when I first saw it as a teenager. Like, I first saw it and I'm like, this movie's kind of lame because I didn't think it was as funny as I thought it would be. But now I actually see the wisdom of Groundhog Day. And I actually think this movie's pretty brilliant. One of the cool things is the ambiguity of the story. Like, you don't know how long Bill Murray was trapped in the time loop. Some have theorized because Harold Ramis embraced Buddhism. Uh, he was stuck for 10,000 years. I personally think that's a bit of a stretch. But I do like the ambiguity. It could have been, He could have been stuck there for a week. It could have been months. It could have been a couple years. Who knows? But... It is very fascinating, people theorizing how long Phil, Bill Murray's character, was stuck in the time loop. I, I also enjoyed his chemistry with Annie McDowell, who plays his producer, and they start having a little connection while Bill Murray's stuck in the time loop because he repeats the same day. I really liked their chemistry, and I enjoyed seeing that relationship progress. And having seen quite a few rom-coms, and rom-coms are among my least favorite genres, I like that Groundhog Day avoids a lot of the tropes I hate in rom-coms, and it focuses more on the natural progression of a relationship and just saying, oh, we fall in love, we break up over a stupid reason and come back together from some contrived circumstance. I like that Groundhog Day avoids all those tropes and focuses more on the progression of the characters. I think that's how you do a romance story and not some of the stupid tropes you see on the Hallmark channel. I will say watching Groundhog Day again, it very much warmed my heart watching it. Especially seeing the fact that you have a very selfish character change to a good-hearted character by the end. And it, it was cool seeing that play out in the most unlikely scenario. And I think it's something uh, many people can latch onto. I think this is something that can help people overcome some of the struggles that they face in life and they can overcome certain issues. I think this is definitely something that I think you can learn something from Groundhog Day. And it's a movie I definitely appreciate because of it. Now, like I said, it's still not one of my absolute favorites. I think... I've seen funnier movies than Groundhog Day. I've seen more inspiring movies than Groundhog Day. I'd say the movie is still, uh, it does have some cheesy moments where I do roll my eyes. But I, I gotta give credit where credit is due. I think Groundhog Day is a great movie. I think its heart is very much in the right place. I think Groundhog Day succeeds in its storytelling. I think this movie is very well directed. I think Harold Ramis was a fantastic comedic director, especially with National Lampoon's Vacation. But he gets to show it again here. And it does mix the comedy that I love coming from Bill Murray, mixed with a sweet story. And I think the story is just as impactful as some of the comedic bits. And it's a movie that, I think it's a movie that's going to get better and better the more I rewatch it. And it was cool watching this movie and having the video drop on Groundhog Day because, yeah, Groundhog Day, that's a cool little holiday. I'll be ready for spring, though. I'm not a big fan of, I'm not a big snow guy, especially since I work as a delivery driver. I hate driving in snow. Uh, Groundhog Day is a great movie. If you haven't seen Groundhog Day, if you're like me and you didn't care for it the first time, I think... Give it a few years, give it a second chance, and you know, the more you get older, the more you'll get into this movie, I think, because of the wisdom this movie has in regards to the precious time that we have and how short-lived it is. I think this is a fantastic movie. Definitely check it out. I can see why it's on the Under Movies bucket list. I, w I don't know if I'd put it as among my personal favorites, but... Movies are subjective, and I'm glad to have rewatched Groundhog Day and to fully appreciate the film, finally. I'm giving Groundhog Day a 4.5 out of 5 stars, and on the 100-point scale, it's getting a 90 out of 100. 
So that wraps up my review of Groundhog Day as part of my 100 Movies Bucket List series. I'll leave a link in the description below for the movies I've done in this series so far. It's a series I've just started. I purchased that poster recently. There's a lot more reviews coming very, very soon that's on that poster. So if you're a fan of cinema, definitely check the link in the description below to see the reviews you may have missed. And be on the lookout for more reviews coming very, very soon that are on that 100 Movies poster. If you've seen Groundhog Day, let me know down in the comments below what you follow the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. And if your comments are respectful, your comments can be potentially seen in future comment shoutout videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!